Good morning, my dear students. You're ready to explore math with me. I'm your teacher, Ronel, and I'm going to show you how math works. Before we're going to start the lesson, I have here the box. How many faces does this box have? Okay, very good. It has six faces. Now, we are going to focus on the front face of the box. How many sides does this face have? Okay, it has four sides. Now, are you familiar with polygons class? What do you call a polygon with four sides? Okay, very good. That is a quadrilateral. Now, are you familiar with the different types of quadrilaterals? Or what are the different types of quadrilaterals? Okay, so that is what we're going to explore this morning. Our topic is all about the different types of quadrilaterals. Now, to formally start our lesson, I will group you, I will have an activity, and I will group you into five. Each group will select a leader and a secretary. The leader will be the one to facilitate, while the secretary will be the one to check the record, the level of participation of each member. Now, what you're going to do within your group activity is that you're going to complete this concept map. It is entitled, Where are my plays? Now, using these different types of quadrilaterals here, you're going to complete the concept map above. Now, you're going to fill it in the each uh, part of your concept now. I'm going to give you five minutes before you're going to post your output in front of the class. Okay? Your time will start now. Assuming that all the outputs have already posted in front of the class, we're not going to check that yet because we're going to rearrange that one after our next activity. Now, what can you say about the activity? Did everybody participate during the group discussion? What are the problems that you've encountered during the deliberation of your answers? How are you able to differentiate one quadrilateral from the other? And last is, what are the basis of your arrangement? Now, we're going to proceed on our next activity. With the same groupings that you have, with your leader, um, your, I'm going to give you handouts within your group, what you're going to do is you're going to discuss with the help of your leader as the facilitator within your group and after that one I will be choosing a reporter from each group to present or report their outputs in front of the class. Now I will be the one to choose the reporter and I will be the one also to choose the topic that he or she is going to report, report in front. Now, I'm going to give you 10 minutes in your group discussion and after that one, I'll be calling a reporter from your group. Now, everybody must participate because the performance of your a reporter will reflect on the score or the performance of your group. Okay, assuming that um, all the presenters or the reporters have already done in reporting their uh, certain type of topics in front of the class. Now, as I've said in your previous activity, that you're going to rearrange your outputs in your 
first or previous activity, I'll give you time to arrange, get your outputs in front of the class and arrange it basing on what you have learned or basing on um, the sharing, basing on the discussions from each members of the group. Then, after that one, we are going to finally check your outputs in your first activity. Now, assuming that the group members have already done posting their um, outputs and we are already done also checking the outputs that did made from their previous activity. The next part of our lesson is you are going to work with your pair. Okay, your pair will be your seatmates. Now, the title of your activity is in real life. Now you're going to write that one in one half sheet of paper. You're going to write your name and your name of your partner during that activity. Then I will give you five minutes to answer that. Okay? Assuming that five minutes is already done, can you please pass your answers in front of the class. Now, for your evaluation,